Now in this part of the question, we're asked to differentiate sine to x divided by x squared. Now it's very common to see people put down dy by dx equals, but this is undefined. It doesn't equal y. So if you want to write dy by dx, make sure you do say let y equal that let. Okay, so you could don't have to say y, you can say any other letter if you like. You can say z equals sine to x over x squared. But if you do say that, then it will be therefore dz by dx and so on. Okay, so we've said let y equals sine to x over x squared. And we need to differentiate this. We need to find dy by dx. So how do I go about finding dy by dx? Well, what we've got here is a fraction two functions of x being divided by one another. And to differentiate equations like this, what we need to do is use the quotient rule. And if you are unfamiliar with the quotient rule, I just remind you, but you can find examples and tutorials on this on my website. Just look under differentiation, the quotient rule, and I'm sure you should come across it. But basically, if you've got y equals two functions of x being divided by one another, let's call them u and v, it can be shown that dy by dx is equal to the bottom of the fraction, v, times the differential of the top of the fraction, that will be du dx, minus the top of the fraction, u, times the differential of the bottom of the fraction, dv dx, all divided by the bottom of the fraction squared. And you'll find this formula in your formula book, but I would encourage you to learn this. So, how does this help us here? Well, u is going to be the sine 2x and v is the x squared. So, if we use the formula here, we start with v, the bottom of the fraction, let's say x squared then. Put it in brackets, it saves writing ambiguous statements. So you've got the bottom of the fraction times the differential of the top of the fraction. Now, to differentiate sine 2x, you've got to use the chain rule. And I'm going to show you how to do that at the end, if you're unfamiliar with the chain rule. I'll break it down in slower steps. But essentially, um, what we've got is the sine of something. I'm going to call that t. The sine of t, if you differentiate it, is the cosine of t, but t is 2x, and then we have to times it by the differential of t. And t was 2x, so differential of 2x is 2. Okay, but I will show you that at the end, how we differentiate sine 2x by the chain rule. Okay, so we get that, that's the first part here, v du dx. Then we have minus u dv dx, the top of the fraction times the differential of the bottom of the fraction. Top of the fraction, sine 2x. Make sure you put this in brackets to save writing ambiguous statements. Times it by the differential of x squared, which is 2x. And we divide all of this by v squared. v being the bottom of the fraction, and we square it. So x squared, all squared. All we need to do is just tidy this up now. So we've got two terms on the top. Tidy up the first term, put the 2 with the x squared, and you've got 2x squared, and then times cos 2x. So 2x squared cos 2x, and for the second term, 2x would look better at the front, so that would be minus 2x sine 2x, and x squared all squared is going to be x to the power 4. Basically, that's it. That's gives, that gives us dy by dx. Okay, well I did say I'll show you how to differentiate sine 2x in case you're concerned about that. And we use the chain rule. And what is the chain rule? Well essentially if you've got to find dy by dx, it's dy by d something times the same d something here by dx. These d somethings, they've got to be the same. I'm going to call them dt's. It's as if they cancel out, leaving you with dy over dx. So how do we apply it here when we've got to differentiate sine 2x? Well, let's suppose we had y was equal to sine 2x. 
then I can say that this is y equals sine t where t is equal to 2x. So if I'm to try and differentiate this cos theta dy dx or the quadrant method then I start by doing dy by dt y equals sine t you should know that the differential of sine t is cos t so that's going to be cos of whatever t was t was 2x so we write 2x there let's put that in brackets so that's dy by dt now I need to times it by dt dx times it by the differential of what I called t t was 2x times it by the differential of 2x which is 2 there you go and that's how I got cos 2x times 2 okay well hopefully you've got that and that brings us now to the end of the question